Aloha. Welcome to the Friday Marketing Jam Session. I'm Tom Gaddis, my co-host Paul James on the stream with us today. We're going to be talking about new Google Map trims, how to profit off of this red hot opportunity. Uh, we're going to take your questions. We're going to do some shout outs. We are just going to have an all around good time. So I'm going to queue up the intro. If you don't already have a cool drink, grab one and we'll see you back here in one momento. It's time, the moment you've been waiting for. Get ready for the fastest 60 minutes of marketing strategies and tactics to grow and scale your business from anywhere in the world. After 167 agonizing hours, we've returned for a brand new Aloha Marketing Jam session. And now, here are your hosts. And listen to that crowd, Paul. They're going crazy. They are fired up out there. Listen to that. Oh, oh yeah. Go. Ready to go. Ready to go. JR. <laughs> oh, you sound a little crackly all of a sudden for some reason. I do? Oh, no. Is it better now? It never fails, right? Everything's no. perfect right before we go live, and then you go live, and there it is. Hey, how's everybody doing out there? Welcome to the live show. Oh, man, look at this. Boy, people are excited to have you on here today. We don't usually have this many people right off the bat. What's up, Patty? Jacqueline. Nye, welcome, everybody. JC, AB, Art. Man, look at this. Richard says, hey, it's Friday. That's right. Friday. <laughs> uh, oh, look, Dorn, already throwing some shade, Paul. Look at that. Oh, my God. <laughs> already throwing some shade. Already throwing some shade. Does my mic sound better now? It's still kind of, it's still crackly for some reason. Here, I don't know why. It's not like feedback, it just sounds a little staticky. Do I sound that way to you on your end? No, you sound fine. Yeah, it's like as soon as you start talking, it's like. Very weird. Hmm. Well, let's see. Well, man, lots, of, look at all those comments in here. Yeah, fantastic. Awesome, well, welcome everybody. Look, look, already 70 people here live, and we're just getting started. Hey, if you're on here, make sure you hit the like button. Give us some love. We'd appreciate that. Jessica said uh, you might want to log out and log back in. You want to try that real quick? Yeah, yeah, I'll try that. Cool. All right, Paul's going to log out and log back in. Hey, listen, this is an interactive show today. So, uh, you know, as you guys know, we've been um, emailing about a course um, that Paul put out uh, this week. He brought to us. We were excited to bring it out. Maps Quick Client Formula. Uh, how many people on here picked that course up? If you did, let me know. Like, have you looked at it? What do you think so far? Do you have any questions about it? We can pop those in the chat. We'll take those too. We're going to do some shout outs. Oh, look, I love it. Like likes and loves coming in. That's awesome. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. And I'm trying to look up. So if you are, if this is you, there is a link that our team drops in the, that can drop in the chat. If you click that link and give StreamYard permission, then we can see you uh, just like this, just like we see Tony here. It shows us your profile. Plus two, really important why you want to do that is we are going to be giving away some cash app money towards the end of this show. And in order to win that, we have to be able to recognize you. So uh, if somebody from the team can put that link in the comments so uh, we can get everybody to grant StreamYard permission because I want to make sure that you are able to get in for the drawing. So uh, StreamYard has this awesome, uh, here it is. You'll see this right here. Go to StreamYard.com forward slash Facebook. So we found StreamYard has an awesome giveaway feature, Paul. So uh, later on the show, I'm going to be giving you guys a special hashtag to drop in the chat. And when you put that hashtag in, it will automatically enter you into the drawing for the cash app, uh, the cash app prizes. So uh, I'm not going to reveal cool. that yet. But yeah, make sure you go to StreamYard.com uh, forward slash Facebook and grant it permission. Uh, and it says, 
uh, Cameron says, give permission to share your name and profile here. So uh, you should see that in the comments as well. So awesome. Happy Friday, everybody. Okay. Paul, what's the weather like in Wisconsin? It's like 37 out right now. <laughs> it was 75 like a few days ago and then dropped down again. So you get a little bit of a heat wave, huh? Yeah. Yep. A, little, a little bit of heat wave, a little bit of sunbathing later. Luckily, I'm bouncing back and forth between here and Florida, so I can't complain too much. Yeah. <laughs> See, I, I'm, I'm let, like, I don't mind the cold as long as I can get out of it. Yeah, same. You know? Like, if it's not for very long or doesn't, like, the thing I love about Vegas is that, to me, it gets just the right amount of cold. Okay. Like just the right amount of cold to wear a long sleeve shirt or like a hoodie or a sweatshirt, but not yeah. so cold that you're like, you know, that it's, uh, in, you know, prevents you from going outside. But yeah, we started to warm up a little. We're up in the seventies right now. Like that's perfect. Yeah. This is the great time, you know? Uh, I mean, it does get really hot here, you know, for about three months, but like the other nine mm -hmm. months are, are, nice i think like and this is some of the best weather that we have here so yeah that's cool yeah awesome, love man. that <laughs> cameron he says it's a balmy 54 in michigan <laughs> yeah. yep similar similar temp yeah well, sure. awesome well hey why don't we start this show out with doing some shark shout outs we love to celebrate the wins that people uh share in our community we're gonna go through these then we'll uh, spend some time talking with Paul about Google Maps, some of the opportunity there, some of the trends he sees, uh, you know, some ways that you guys can use that to your advantage. We're going to take your questions. Um, and uh, yeah, so we'll start with that. So um, first up, I, I want to say this. So, you know, we share wins every week and I want to remind everybody, if you have a client that you bill on a regular basis, please, whenever you collect an invoice, share that win. Like we want to hear those wins because, you know, uh, a lot of times people just share the first one and then we never hear again. But like, I think it's awesome. You know, I saw somebody posting last week. They were like, you know, $600 client, which is a, which is a good solid win. But then the next thing was like, this is the eighth payment they've made. <laughs> I'm like, well, I mean, like that is an awesome win, right? So yeah. it's really great to see that, you know, uh, we can, that we, as local marketers, we can be out there. We can not only find people to buy the services we offer, but we can also find people to buy the recurring services, which is one of the great things that we'll talk about with maps and what you got going on with maps, quick client formula and all that stuff. So, yeah, cool. All right. I'm going to share my screen. We're going to do some shout outs. Paul, feel free to jump in and comment on anything you want. Sounds right. good. Yeah. Here we go. So first up, We've got Megalodon, uh, Megalodon Dorn Britton, who does all of our Shark Alliance trainings, which are awesome, by the way. He's also an agency evolution member. Dorn sold five paid audits, $2,500 total. That's amazing. That's awesome. You know, this is interesting, Paul, because um, some I saw somebody in our Facebook group ask, like, is anybody... Uh, I can't, I can't remember if they said, is anybody selling audits or if anybody's using audits to get clients and, um, you know, and then Dorn posted this one, five paid audits, 500 bucks an audit. Like this is one of the very first foot in the door strategies that Nick and I released. Do you use this at all with Google maps? I mean, you totally can. It's kind of, it's kind of similar. You know, the nice part about audits is that you're really giving them some goodwill up front. So yeah, totally. Yeah. And really just, I mean, that, that is really just a matter of like re you know, reaching out to them and just letting them know what the issue is yep. and, and how you can fix it. Right. Like I know in the, in the, uh, in the quick, uh, in the maps, quick client formula, you know, you share one of my favorite strategies. Okay. For, uh, reach out, which is making the little loom videos. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Right? I love it. That's so personable, right? Yeah, it well, it's so personalized. It's so different, right? And saying like, hey, you know, I spotted something you might want to take a look at. I just shot a quick video to show you what it is. Like, I think it, it's just got so much stuff going for it. But those can actually be like little mini audits without being an audit. Like just exactly. doing that video and showing the business owner, like let's just let's just take their uh, their maps, you know, their Google business profile maps listing, for example. If you just have a little video that's like, hey, look, I, you know, when I pull up the maps here, I see 
uh, these people who I assume are probably competitors of yours that have claimed their profiles and are way up here. And then I see you, you're like, kind of like way down here and you have, but you haven't even claimed your profile. Like you definitely want to fix that. If you know, if you want to, uh, be able to compete or even surpass these people. So, you know, I just wanted to shoot this video. I love your place. I love your food, whatever it is. Right. Yeah. You know, I, I, I love what you do. I just want to make sure you fix that. If you need any help with it, you know, feel free to just hit reply. I'm happy to jump on a call and that kind of stuff. So the cool part too about maps is it's a lot easier than if you're doing changes to like the website, right? Because you're cool. working right on the listing. So it's a lot, a lot easier and a lot faster to sort of get stuff done. So that's how I like it. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So, yeah. So, uh, Michael, so, uh, basically, um, paid audits are like a more in-depth audit. So what I was just talking about there with Paul and, and, uh, and what he's doing with, with maps, quick client formula, that's something that we do just to let people know and get the conversation going. Right. But you can do like more detailed audits where you not only look at their maps listing, but you look, you examine their website, you examine their social media presence. Uh, and then you examine like their top three competitors. And really what you do is put together an overview of how they stack up against that competition, right? And so for those, because they take time and uh, there's more involved to them, we typically, we charge for those. So that's what that is. And uh, Michael, make sure that you go and grant StreamYard permission. So when we do the drawings later for the cash app money, you're, you're in there. There's a link in the, the comments. Um, okay. Um, yeah, what Dave said, yeah, you know, we did, we did our audits, Dave, without any fancy software. We just did them the old fashioned manual way, which we didn't mind doing because we were charging for them. Right. We were charging for them. So, all right, let's, uh, let's see who's next. Next up, Joanne Westwood. She's an agency evolution member. By the way, Shishan, these graphics this week are awesome. I love this green background and the Looks like the pictures are taped up and the, anyway, oh, good. good job, Shushan. Good job, Shushan. Uh, Joanne Westwood recently met with a local nonprofit that needs help with their website. $600. Solid win. Yeah, Solid win. totally. Yeah. Uh, oh, shoot. Hold on. Hold on. Where did, oh, there we go. Okay. Next up, Mr. Sandy Smith, an agency evolution member as well. One of our newer members in there. Sandy sold four ad spaces for 750 bucks each for his second, not his first, his second uh, nine by 12 mailer card. Awesome job. Yeah. 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 When I saw this win, you know, those mailer cards, Paul, they have a special place. I know they hit close to home. That's how you got your start. <laughs> yeah. I remember. Yeah. So I was like, uh, I'm just like, man, that's really great. So I, yeah. I love, you know, and that again, like, man, you know, when we, you know, so many things, you know, when we're talking about maps and Google business profile, like, one of the things I love about it and what you're teaching inside that course, Paul, is maps is evergreen, mm -hmm. right? And it like, leads into almost everything, like, yes. every, like every other service. Yeah, anything out there, you know, because you can go in and say, hey, while I was doing this to your maps listing, I noticed your website needs yes. a little love. I noticed mm -hmm. your social media needs a little love, like, yeah, I mean, it is such a great transition. And then it's just, you know, it's not, yes, they've changed the name of it a few times, but it's not going anywhere. Right. Like, they're not going Those anywhere. Those are good opportunities, too, when that, when that happens. Yeah. Well, and I think, you know, it's so easy to get caught up in the, the you know, the flashy lights and the sparkle, like, everything that's going on with AI right now, you know, AI, AI, AI like the, all the flashy sparkle and stuff, it's, it's easy to forget that there are a lot of solid foundational things that you can never go wrong building your business on because they're always going to be in demand. They're yes. always going to be needed. And now you may be able to angle them to fit a current trend or whatever, but uh, they're, they're solid stuff. And I think maps is one of those things. I agree. Yep. hundred percent. And yeah. stuff like AI is definitely useful for, for everything else too. Like, I mean, it's, it's a tool but it's not going to replace the foundations by no means. Yeah. Well, that's, you know, again, that's another thing I love about the maps, quick client formula 
Yeah, we show how to use it inside. You show people how to use AI to do the fulfillment like nothing. Yes. Like, yeah. Like, yeah, that's great. Big fan of big fan of automation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it makes it nice when you can uh, do things and not have to be right over them, right? Exactly. Yep. Uh, oh, gosh, I keep doing that. Okay. Next up, uh, Mr. Richie Cronin, another agency evolution member. Uh, upsold a restaurant slash bar to an AI chatbot. Look at that. I was just, there we go. I'm just Speaking talking about AI. AI that was a good segue. <laughs> Did you plan that out? <laughs> He's like, yeah, Tom, do what you want. I'll just take the money. A <laughs> hundred dollars a month. That's awesome, Richie. I love yeah. it. I love it. I love it. Uh, next up, Mr. Cody Weaver sold an industrial website for a paint. Is that striping or stripping? Hmm. I was wondering that too. It could be like for blacktop. Oh, well, I wondered if it was stripping or stri yeah. Anyway, eighteen hundred dollars. Nice. Awesome win. That's a really good one. Awesome win. Awesome win. Uh, Kristen Bedard sold a website to an existing client who's getting into asphalt paving as a side gig. Wow, that is that's quite the side gig. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's cool. You know. That never would have occurred to me. I never would have been like, you know, I think I'm going to start a side business. Uh, you know, asphalt paving. That sounds like... Uh, you, get, you need to get them connected now with the the painting. <laughs> yeah, connect them with the other guys. Well, that's so funny to me because like when I hear that, I think, God, that sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. But hey, what a great business and what a great win, Kristen. That's awesome. $700. That's fantastic. Uh, and the team, the team over at Nick Ponte Marketing uh, picked up two new clients, a $3,000 a month SEO and Google ads plus 250 one time setup fee to a shark diving company. We need um, to be working with a shark diving company. Yeah. <laughs> Pardon me. That's the, yeah. Finally, <laughs> shark diving company. That's a perfect match. Yep. And then a uh, $2,000 a month Google ads came paying plus 250 one time setup fee to a surf lesson and kayak tour company. They probably never want to hear from the shark diving company. Right? Like surfers, <laughs> right. Right? Those are uh, two niches and ons. But yeah, uh, really great wins. Really great wins. So that brings our week's roundup to a combined total of $14,796 that Good you work. out there generated for the week of April 13th through the 19th. That brings our grand total since the start of 2024 to $301,621. Dorn says I skipped a shout out. Hold on. Let me go. Hold on, Dorn. Let's go. Dorn? Oh, Brandon. Yes. All right. Oh. Look at this. And probably the most important relevant one to our show today. Oh, there you go. <laughs> 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 oh. Hmm. Anyway, Brandon Stewart, who is also an Agency Evolution member, he closed two... Uh, Maps Google Business Profile monthlies for five hundred and ninety nine dollars. So five hundred and ninety nine dollars a month. Then an existing client who was so happy with Brandon's work on her uh, Google Business Profile monthly that she called two referrals right in front of him and set an appointment. Way to go! Woo hoo! Man, well, that's are... awesome. Referrals yeah. are so great. That's like such an such a uh, under talked about strategy too. Mm. Yeah. Well, you know, I, you know, it's interesting that you say that because like, I've always thought when it comes to sales, like one of my early business mentors said, really what you want is a warm referral. Like, yeah. And so if you can't get, and by a warm referral, I mean, uh, you know, um, like a name Deborah, drop. Deborah yes. calls up Alan and says, Hey, you know, you should talk to Tom. He can really help you solve this problem you have. Like that's what we call a warm referral, right? So that you're not, yeah. You're not going in cold. You're not going in cold, and then you can reach out to Alan and be like, "Hey, Deborah told me to give you a call." Like it's just a, a way easier conversation. Mm -hmm. So you know, Paul, we've always looked for ways to manufacture that. Yeah. So yeah, you know, almost always a slam dunk. Yeah, yeah. It just makes it so much easier. One way we've done that in the past is like, and I really used to do this with the mailer, is uh, if somebody's like, "No, I, you know, I'm not really interested." I'm like, "Hey, that's great, but." Do you, do you know anybody here in town that you think this might be good for? And mm -hmm. then uh, that's how I got the pizza place that we was on our card for for years. 
was mm. I went to a taco place and they weren't interested, but he's like, oh, you should talk to this guy over at the pizza place. So when I went there, I was like, hey, so-and-so told me to come talk to you. And it was just like, it was instant, right? That's and um, so you can do that too with your prospecting when it comes to maps and things like that as well. Like if, if you like reach that. out to somebody and they're not interested, don't just blow them off. Say, hey, look, I, like I totally get it. Like, you know, uh, you know, completely understand. Do you know, do you have any business friends that you think this might be good for or that might be a good fit? And then that way you can do that thing where you reach out and say, hey, so-and-so told me to give you a call. So that's super smart. Yeah, that's one level of doing it. But then when you look at all of the strategies we use to get our foot in the door, that's really what those are, right? Those a foot in the door strategy is really a way to manufacture a warm lead because instead of it being a referral from somebody else, we're doing it with an offer that is just uh, is good enough to get them in so we can start to build that relationship. So yeah, this is great stuff. So, awesome work, Brandon. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to learn how to do this, how to get these, you know, Google business profile, when we talk about maps, Google business profile, we're talking about the same thing there. Yeah. Uh, you know, if you want to learn how to do this and stuff like that, we've got an awesome course from Paul that uh, we've got on a special price right now. So I'll share a link here in a minute. You guys can go check it out and we'll take questions and stuff. But awesome work, Brandon. Awesome work. Uh, so anyway, that's our total, $301,621. And uh, really nice work, everybody out there. Really nice work. I love that. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, good job, everyone. That's awesome. Amazing work. I yeah. love seeing that. Yeah, great stuff. Uh, okay, let's go over and take a look. I want to see if we have any um Okay, so. Oh, here we go. Here's a great question. So uh, Safwan says he recently joined Maps Co Client Formula. Welcome, Safwan. Excited Welcome. to have you in there. Yes. He said, uh, Paul, is there a way to increase the reviews in Google Business Profile or will the reviews increase automatically when we put images and optimize Google Business Profile description? Yeah, I mean, really, it's it's putting a strategy in place, talking to your client and making them be proactive about reaching out for reviews and really like getting them to do that after their, like kind of what Tom just talked about with the referral thing. It's almost the same thing with reviews. Once they finish up the job, like if it's a service-based industry, they should really be asking, hey, you know, can you do me a favor and leave a review if you're happy with the work and Ooh. encouraging them to do that. So it's really more so like a discussion you're going to have with your client and be like, hey, you know, this profile would perform a whole lot better if you did this. So it's kind of like a teamwork thing and, and putting a strategy in place that way. Um, someone's saying um, that you can, you can get like um, mailer, like postcards, not mailers, but like postcards or like pamphlets as well. That's another another thing that you can do that kind of give instructions on how to leave a review. But yeah, I mean, definitely asking for them is like the biggest, the biggest thing and teaching your clients to do that. Yeah, I've seen those little, you know, sometimes people put little placards in a business where they just scan a QR code and it takes them to be able yeah. to leave the review or they hand out little business cards where you can leave a review. You yeah. know, one thing that, um, one thing that I've done in the past for clients, which, and I'm always surprised that clients don't ever, I mean, it's just a reminder that the simple things that we often take for granted as, as digital marketers are just like not even in the awareness of most people. And that is just putting a link in an email signature to leave a review. Yeah. Like, you know, the business is, most businesses are having email communication with customers, you know, just adding a link in their, in the signature of their emails that says, Hey, you know, we would love to hear a review or if they're sending out some type of update emails, yeah. most businesses aren't even doing that. Like even just putting that little tiny thing in there can, can help them uh, do that as well. Yeah, Dorn says he does uh, QR codes on a flyer. So that's one way to do it as well. You could you could come up with a QR code. Or like Thomas saying, just even like some sort of email follow-up that gets sent out to every client after they're done with the with the job that just says, Hey, I hope you know you were happy with the service. If you were, please leave us a review. It would really help out a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Michael, I'm not sure what you're talking about. I mean, the 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 Google Maps quick client thing is I think it's it's under $30. I'm not sure what you're talking about. $299. I'm not sure what you're talking about there, but 
yeah, the, the, the main course that you get for, I mean, it, it's under 30 bucks. Like it has everything you need in it to mm -hmm. take action and get results. So, yeah, we, I mean, we kind of pride ourselves on doing that, making sure we give you everything you need to get results. Right. All that yeah. other stuff is great. It can help you supercharge things and get stuff faster. But if you're on a budget, you don't need it. Yeah. hundred percent. Yeah. Um, Dave says, I believe asking for feedback gets a better response than asking for use. Yeah, that's a that's a good point, Dave. That that would be something that'd be interesting to test, right? That would be. Yeah, I haven't tested that, but I I believe it actually. That makes sense to me. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Um ch -ch -ch. Uh, da -da -da -da. let's see, hold on. I'm seeing I'd like to know the answer to that too. Somebody said they went to the chiropractor today and they emailed them a link for review. Yep. I get a lot of those via SMS too. Hey, I was just going to say that. I did too. Yeah. yeah. Hey, thanks for visiting. Would you mind leaving a review? Um, let's see. Okay. Here's a, I'm looking for a question here. This, I don't know who this is. By the way, again, we're going to be doing a drawing here towards the end of the stream. I'm going to give you guys a hashtag to put in the comments. So you have to grant StreamYard permission, though, to be able to be entered into the drawing. So if uh, if you haven't done that, go to StreamYard.com forward slash Facebook, grant them permission, and then you'll be able to get in the drawing. So uh, this says a few people I talked to, they think setting up a GMB is all that is needed. How do you show ongoing value to justify a retainer? Great question. I believe we have a training coming up on Thursday on this topic, but essentially to give like a helicopter overview, it's um, it's a maintenance thing. So right now with the Google business profiles, they want to see that you're active on that profile. And if you stop becoming active, it can impact your rankings. So that alone is reason enough to justify a retainer to keep active on it. Mm, okay. So mainly it's about maintenance. Yeah, about maintaining the listing and staying active. Because if you're not active on the listing, you could lose rankings that way. So that's primarily what it comes to. It's just stuff like responding to reviews, uh, the Q&A section, things like that. Things that don't take a lot of time but are, still need to be done. And um, you know, doing that is easy to justify the retainer. Also, you can do other things too, like prove that what you're doing is working you know, looking at analytics and showing that what you're doing is working for them, that's going to keep people paying as well. Mm, awesome. Awesome stuff. Um, ch -ch -ch. Trying to look and see. Oh, yeah, somebody said, yeah, yes, we talked about that. We talked about tying in the Google review card. So uh, Lynette has a question. So as you mentioned bad reviews, what do you do for that business? Um, you know, are, are I think, are you asking us that, Lynette, like if a business has bad reviews? Because like, I know some, we get the question a lot, like from business owners and people in our community, like, oh, I got a client who has bad reviews. How do I get those removed? I know no way to get them removed. Like, I, and Paul, do you know any way to get them removed? You can get them removed, but it usually requires a court order. So you usually have to engage in a lawsuit and then show Google that you're engaged in a lawsuit and then you can get them removed. Usually it's not going to go that far. I mean, usually you're just going to want to do a flushing them down strategy of adding more positive reviews to outweigh it. I mean, it's not every business is going to be perfect. And honestly, if a business is perfect, has a perfect rating, it kind of looks suspicious anyways, because you can't please everyone. That's just like the way it goes. So usually the strategy is to get more positive reviews in. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, and Doran says Google Stacks, review campaigns, weekly posting, review responses, Q&A. Those are all things they do for that maintenance. Yep, 100%. Um, is there anything you want to add about the – is there anything else you can add about the Thursday call? I mean, we're just going to um, dive a little deeper into that, right? Yeah, we're going to dive deeper into, um, you know, getting people on recurring and, you know, what that consists of, what you're doing to to justify retainers, stuff like that, to turn to turn this $500 thing into something more sustainable long term that you're building a residual income about. Yeah, because that's really the goal, right? Like when we when we go in with a foot in the door thing, like, yes, uh, you know, a $500 client is awesome. 
Mm -hmm. A one-time fee to do that. Great. Fantastic. But like, you know, we'd like to build up some foundation to our business. So the way we do that is through recurring, right? Yes. So what is a typical monthly? Oh, the call's Wednesday, Cameron says. Sorry. Wednesday. Wednesday. (laughs) One day earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Cameron. Uh, What's a typical monthly retainer fee? Um, usually a thousand is like kind of the, the sweet spot, but it can go anywhere from 500 to 1500, just depending on how big the, the niche is and competition, stuff like that. Yeah, that's great. Um, oh, Lynette was asking about better use. Do you stay away or do you help? Lynette, I, you know, honestly, it would depend on the situation for me. Um, yeah, I mean, because like, there's, there's helping a business, like there's a difference, right? Like if I, uh, go to a business and all they have are bad reviews, like there's not much I'm going to be able to do marketing wise to help them. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, so, you know, you want to, you want to evaluate the situation. You don't want to set yourself up and put yourself in a place where, you know, you're, 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 there's no chance of, of, winning that battle. Right. So, you know, if it's a business that has the majority, they have, you know, they have a majority of positive reviews or, or like, here's the other thing of that. They don't have any reviews, but they have one negative review. Like, well, their issue is really generating reviews. So let's generate reviews. Now, if we start generating them and they're all negative, then that's something we have to address with them. But yes. Yeah. Lynette too, um, as far as the retainer thing, just another thing to add. I think it also a lot of it's going to depend on how much your client is billing their clients too. So like if you have a roofer who's doing $15,000 roof installs, it's pretty easy to justify a $1,500 a month retainer because they lend one client. Like it's a no brainer for them. So keep that in mind as well when you're trying to figure out what to charge. Mm, yeah. Uh, oh, one thing I do want to do here. So if you guys, if you haven't checked out, uh, maps quick client formula yet uh, you can go check it out you just go to offline sharks.com forward slash maps clients and uh you know don't go digging all into it now but right now it's on a special launch price um so you can go uh check out the course there so offline sharks.com forward slash maps clients i'm just gonna let that scroll at the bottom again here in a little bit i'm gonna give you guys a hashtag you're gonna put it in we're gonna give away some cash out money but Okay, let's go back to some questions here. Um, but okay, so somebody said, oh, Michael is saying, at what cost do you mean? Like, what do you charge for the reviews? So, Michael, I know, like, I wish I could tell you that there's like some magic price, you know, like, oh, if you just charge X you're going to be golden, but that's not really how it works with digital marketing, right? Like, you know, the reason we say, you know, $500 to get your foot in the door is because that's an amount that's pretty within the range of the typical small business without too much, like even a a business that might view 500 as a lot is still likely to be like, okay, it's not, I mean, it's not crazy, right? Like, They're willing to take the jump without much trust. Yeah, Yeah. without much trust. Exactly. But when you, you know, when you start looking at pricing, you know, more detailed things, a lot of it depends. I mean, I know everybody hates to hear this answer, but like a lot of it depends. It depends on what the situation is for that business, what their competitors are doing. It depends on how much time you think it's going to take you to fix those problems. Right. It also, you know, a lot of times too, it can depend on you know, how much involvement and how fast do they want to get it fixed? Yeah. Right. Do they want to get it really fixed really fast? Well, that's going to cost more than if we fix it over time and, and all those types of things. So it's really hard to just throw out numbers because, you know, I can tell you what we've charged some clients, but those, you know, those numbers are, are based on unique things, but on average for Google maps, you know, you're going to be charging $500 an initial one time. And then you're going to be doing anywhere from five to fifteen hundred uh, recurring. <laughs> Some of these comments uh, are funny. <laughs> yeah, uh, we'll get there. We'll get there. Let's see. Um, uh, 
Okay, so this is great. So, you know, I just kind of assume like, oh, people know what the heck we're talking about. I always do that. So, Paul, can you kind of give us a high level overview of what we're what you're showing them how to do inside of Matt's Quick Client Formula? Yeah, so Google identifies kind of points out some things that every Google business profile should have on it in order to get results. And Matt's Quick Cl Quick Client Formula shows how to identify those profiles that are missing that and offer a simple strategy to fix it and get them to pay you $500 to get your foot in the door. And of course, you can stop there if you want, and it's a great way to make money. But the goal is, of course, to try and make even more money and upsell them other things. Like Tom said, you might discover their website is bad and they need a new website or other things that come up. So that's the uh, that's kind of the short version. Yeah, I mean, what I love about the course is number one, it's really straightforward. And it's not like a like it's not like a typical course where you're gonna get in there and you're just like overloaded with information. Like we Paul really did a great job of showing you and teaching you what you need to know to do the thing so yeah. that you can do the thing as quickly as possible, right? So, you know, he shows you how to find the people that need the help. He shows you how to do the reach out. And then he shows you how to use AI to do the fulfillment, which is really great. So like it's, it's all complete in there and you don't have, you know, you don't have to get a master's degree in uh, maps or Google business profile or become a Google engineer. Like you can talk intelligently about what you're doing, have confidence in your ability to uh, deliver on what you're telling them and, you know, do it in a professional way, close deals and, you know, get referrals and all that kind of stuff. So. Yep. Um, you know, this is something we do get in, uh, our community from time to time, but I'm curious, like, what are your thoughts on this? How do you handle when Google suspends one of your clients? I mean, yeah, I mean, it's not really your fault if they get suspended, you know, it's usually, are they breaking one of the guidelines and sometimes it can be rectified and fixed. Um, sometimes it's as simple as reaching out to the Google support and they'll fix it. And if it's not, they're not breaking any like terms of service, like that's, usually what'll happen, it'll get fixed. So. Uh, so I think this is an important distinction to make because we're not advocating or teaching you to do anything that would get no. a profile suspended. No, 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 not like, at all. If yeah, they get suspended, it's something they're doing wrong and you can certainly help them fix that, but it's not your fault by any means. Yeah, so the account is not gonna be suspended by something you're doing from what Paul teaches in Maps Quick Client Formula, no, like everything absolutely. in there is super white hat, above board, like yeah. And, and no, Google, believe shape. it or not, Google Maps has AI starting to build into um, optimization as well, so they're okay with AI even, which is cool. Mm, that's great. That's good to know. So they're yeah. building AI into the optimization, mm -hmm, which is really cool. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Oh, we already talked about the call. The call is Wednesday, everybody, just so you guys know. Um, yes, Jacqueline. I see I see you there. Um, Paul, okay, here we go. Uh, Richard says, Paul, would I charge a client for the Google Maps gig 500 one time or recurring? So go, go ahead, Paul. Yeah, I mean, what we're teaching is a one time thing, but the call on Wednesday will show how to roll them into a recurring if that's what you want to do. Yep. There we go. Uh, let's see. Um, Cameron, do we know? I think it's a, probably, th typically we do these around 3 p.m. Eastern, I think. So it's probably somewhere around there. <laughs> yes, that's right. Wednesday is the new Thursday for us. <laughs> <laughs> is that the one you were laughing at earlier? <laughs> no, I was laughing at the million dollar client. Oh, I didn't see that one. From I must have missed that one. Oh, I haven't got there yet. But when we were talking about price point, Taylor said just price it at a million because that's a great ROI. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that is <laughs> just price it at a million because that's a great ROI. That's awesome. Yeah, uh, Chandra. So um, we'll send out some emails with uh, links to register. If you picked up uh, Maps Quick Client Formula, you should already be registered for the training. So if you bought the course, you should already be registered, but we will uh, send out emails. We'll probably post in the Facebook group as well. So you'll see it all in there. So as long as you don't go dark, you shouldn't miss it. Um, uh, and it's going to be on, it'll be a, like a webinar, Shirlene. So we'll do it there. 
Um, let's see. What's in, oh, what's included in that? I'm not sure uh, who this is. Again, if you can grant. Because we talked about earlier. Oh, okay. Like the retainer, like like the the monthly posting, Q and A reviews, keeping the listing updated, maintained, so that they don't lose any rankings is what would be included in the retainer. Gotcha. Um, Avi, you're absolutely right. Yeah. I mean, this is a great way to jumpstart. You know. You know, it's always, you know, I was just talking about this uh, with uh, Nick and Cameron the other day because, you know, uh, a lot of times, you know, we share certain strategies and certain things for different reasons. And, you know, Maps Quick Client formula checks a lot of the boxes for us, right? Because a lot of times when you're like, let's say that you've heard about this digital marketing thing or you're, or you're just trying to get your initial first traction, right? You like you really want something that you can that you can try to kind of validate that hey this is you know this is doable this can work i can make this work without having to invest a ton of money without having to you know figure out a bunch of stuff like you know it, it can be kind of frustrating if you're like oh i think doing seo is awesome so you spend a year learning seo only to discover that you hate it. <laughs> right? like, like that's like not what we want. So, you know, this really is a great way to dip your toes and fingers and get traction without having to spend a ton of time learning all that complicated stuff. And, you know, look, this is going to, this is going to get you some results and some traction. Like are you going to get rich selling $500 map optimizations? Probably not, but like, that's not really the goal of this, right? The goal of this is to take some action and get some results, right? And then, then if you're like, hey, this is all good and I like this, then we can start expanding that out and spending more time and, 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 and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, mm -hmm. look right, right now, I mean, what do you got to lose, right? Give it a shot. Try it. I think you guys will be surprised. Yeah, I agree. Um, let's see. And this one hits close to home for me because that's actually how I got started. You know, like you got started yeah. the noise, like the Google Maps stuff is what got me going. Well, yeah, when you, I mean, gosh, when we got started in 2016, you were at that time like the Maps, you were the Google Maps guy. Yeah. Right? And like, yeah. uh, and I started doing this in 2010 full time, Google oh Maps. My goodness. Yeah. Like my, my agency was solely focused on Google Maps in 2010. You know, I know a lot of people on here probably don't know this, but I've always thought this is so awesome because, you know, since we've known each other for so long and, uh, you know, we've done a lot of trainings together and things like that. So a couple of things you guys might not know about Paul. Number one, he's a, a magician. He, he did magic as a hobby. So mm -hmm. him and I hit, hit it off there. That surprises, always surprises me how many- I people actually did it semi-professional. I did birthday well, parties, Christmas parties. Yeah. yeah. Semi-professionally. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Semi-professionally. Yeah. But yeah, so it does magic as well. Uh, you've also lately, you've been recording music, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like recording music, doing some things like that. Pretty, uh, pretty seriously, actually. I've got, um, I've got some, some deals lined up pretty soon. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. So, Let me know yeah. when you're out here playing. You, might, you might hear me on the radio one day. We'll see. <laughs> well, we'll, I, I expect to see you at the win. <laughs> yes. The yeah. win or someplace like that. Well, the wife and I'll come down and see you. Maybe um, we'll see. And whether there's something else I was going to do. So magic, uh, music, <laughs> marketing. Um, you know, he spends uh, uh, time in Wisconsin and he spends time in Florida. And uh, didn't you, if I remember correctly, so when you were first getting started back in 2010, did you work for Walmart? Yeah, that was before that. But yeah, I did. Yeah, I did you like Walmart. used to work at Walmart, right? Yes, as a cashier. As a cashier, and then you had you had a band, right? Weren't mm -hmm. you? You were, had this little band going on, and then you started yeah. doing these maps listings, right? Yep, yep, that's exactly yeah. right. You got yeah. it. <laughs> I remember the picture you showed me of the. I remember a picture of like an old car in front of a little garage. Was it like I forget? <laughs> yes. It was where you lived or something, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, my brother's garage. Yeah, 
crazy. Yeah, and crazy. all, I mean, like, look, you know, I share that stuff because I mean, all of that came from Google maps, right? I it mean, did, yeah. Paul was doing, getting clients, right. And launched with Google maps, having a lot of success there. And then just started showing other people how to do it. So he's been doing, he's been in this game for a while. And I say that to say that, you know, like, what you're getting inside uh, Maps Put Client Formula is all of that experience, you know, plus all the things that are current. Like there's a lot of things that stay the same, but then there's little changes and little things here. And a lot of that stuff you can't figure out unless you're doing this day after day, month after month, year after year. And uh, that's why Paul is able to, I think, I think that's why you're able to distill it so succinctly and, and make such a laser focus course about exactly what you need, right? Because you've been down every rabbit hole there is. <laughs> I have, yeah. Yeah. That's for sure. Yep. I've, yeah. I've, I've encountered just about every problem. So <laughs> that's, a, you know, I always tell, it's so it's funny you say that because I always tell Nick, like, you know, sometimes when we talk to people, they're like, yeah, I'll tell people about origin art of business. And they're always like, that is so smart. And it always makes me laugh inside because I know the only reason we're doing that is because we jacked it up so bad. <laughs> that, like we were like, we don't ever want that to happen again. So we're going to do this instead. <laughs> like almost everything that you would look at in our business and think that's smart came because we messed something up. <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah. How it goes. Yeah. So Lynette says some businesses go after their competitors. So they put a bad review that is fake. Oh, mm. Yeah, that I mean that happens. Always some bad actors, right? Always some bad actors. Um, let's see. There. Oh yeah. By the way, uh, we're we're only this is only open until I believe tomorrow. So I believe uh, the special pricing goes away tomorrow night. So there is a price increase tonight, uh, a small one, not a lot, but tomorrow there's a big price increase once this little, uh, you know, few day launch thing is over. So if you want to get it at the lowest price possible, go to offlinesharks.com forward slash maps client right now and, and get it today. Uh, it'll be a little more expensive tomorrow, not much, uh, but then tomorrow night it goes up big. So, you know, keep an eye out. Um, oh, awesome. Shelly said she picked it up right before the call. Awesome, Shelly, welcome. Welcome, yeah, super excited to have you. Awesome. Um, okay, so I don't know who this is. Uh, if you get a chance, grant StreamYard permission because here in a minute, we're going to do a giveaway of some cash up money and I have to be able to see your profile for you to get entered. Um, but again, Paul, just real quick, what exactly is it we're teaching them to do in, in Maps Quick Client Formula? Yeah, we're teaching them how to land $500 using a foot in the door strategy that identifies Google business profiles that are missing information that Google really wants to see on them. And um, I'm showing you how to close them, how to get the deal, the email templates that do all of that, and then how to fulfill the service with AI so you don't have to do much work. There you go. Oh yeah, there's the million dollars. <laughs> get one client. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Um, uh, Roger. Roger, Roger, sweet. Do me a favor. Roger, uh, go to offlinesharks.com forward slash support. Let our team know that you want the special pricing, but you, but it's, it's going to be Thursday, uh, Thursday, and I'm sure they can work something out with you. Um, Barbara says, can these services, uh, be outsourced? Absolutely. Even better, we're using AI, so you don't. I mean, you could, you could ask, you could have an outsourcer do the AI work, but it's up to you. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Art says I picked up yesterday's. I will go through the whole training in a couple hours. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Michael says, can you comment here about how to get a Google Business Profile listing one hundred percent complete? Is the email Google wants you to get necessary? Yeah, that's kind of what we talk about inside is really doing that. So it's just adding in all of the necessary information that they ask for. Yeah. Um, let's see. Okay. Da -da -da. I'm just looking to see if we miss any questions. So uh, <laughs> while I'm scrolling through here to see if there's any more questions, 
Uh, we do want to do something that we do uh, every live show. So here's what I need all of you to do. Uh, I'm going to share my screen here. I need you in the chat, and then we can answer any last minute questions after this. But in the chat, I need everybody that wants to be entered to win the Cash App money to put this hashtag in the chat. Hashtag quick client. All one word. Hashtag quick client client. So put that hashtag in the comments. And as you see, look, the entries right here, see that? They're going up as people put them in. And then here in a second, we are going to draw and give away $25 in cold, hard cash to two lucky winners. So get your entries in. Remember, hashtag quick client. This is a cool feature. Yeah, isn't that awesome? It is yeah, cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to that in a minute. It's really neat when you run the drawing too. So uh yeah, and I think right now it, it's some like uh maps quick client formula right now is somewhere around $27, maybe 28, somewhere in there, but uh really inexpensive. Uh again, we always pride ourselves on on what you purchase on the front end, having everything you need to get traction and have success. So the front end course by itself is complete. We do have uh, a series of um, upgrades that you can get that can help you do things faster, quicker, give you some more assets to do all that kind of stuff. Um, you don't need them, uh, but we have a lot of people that, you know, really want to, uh, a lot of people in our group like to go big, right? So, uh, and we like to do that as well. So we like to, to provide support for that as well. So you'll see that stuff as you go through there and all those things, but you do have everything you need in the front as well. Um, all right. I'm oh, look at all those hashtags coming mm -hmm. in. Hey, look, look, it's not hashtag quick Kevin. I don't know. What this is. <laughs> oh, it's hashtag quick client. All right, look, I'm gonna play this song and then uh, we're gonna give away some cash app money. Here comes the money. Here we go. Money talk. Here comes the money. money, money, money. <laughs> Okay, I see it, Richard. I see your question. We're going to get to that in a second. We're going to give away the first uh, Cash App prize here. So I'm going to go back to the screen. So if you haven't, type in hashtag quick client, all one word, hashtag quick client. I'm going to give away one $25 Cash App prize right now, and then we're going to give away another one. So you still have a chance to get in. I'm going to go over here. And uh, so, Paul, last week was the first week we did this. Mm -hmm. And uh, I hit draw, and the winner was us. <laughs> no way. Really? Yeah, in the chat, the Avalanche Sharks. I was like, I promise, it's not real. <laughs> Were you able to pick again? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You okay. can do it as many times as you want. So I just ran it again. But I was like, of course, the first <laughs> time we do it, it picked. I was like, our little picture, Offline Sharks, winner. That's really funny. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 okay, here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. The first winner of $25 in cold, hard cash app money is Shelly. Oh, nice. Shelly just jumped in too. Congrats. Yeah, isn't that awesome? The confetti, yeah. the, the little thing. And then, of course, uh, I always like to throw this in for good measure. I knew it was coming. <laughs> so awesome, Shelly. Awesome. Okay, so look. I'm going to give away another cash app prize, but uh, I wanted to get this question uh, real quick that I saw Richard uh, asked. He said, Paul, I don't have a GBP of my own. Should I have one to show prospects? I rank my hire with what I'm offering. Like, it's not necessary for you to have done this for yourself, right? To make what we do in maps, quick point formula work. Yeah, it's not necessary. If you want to do it, I mean, by all means, it's, it's fun to do and, I'm, I know Nick has one. I have one. So yeah, it's fun to do. And, and it definitely can help get clients like for things like web design and stuff like that. So if you want to do it just to like get in there and get your hands dirty before you get clients, by all means you can, but you don't need to. I We show you everything that you need to know inside. So yeah, awesome stuff. And Shelly, if you just uh, 
put in the comments your Cash App tag, or uh, you can put your PayPal. Somebody from the team will reach out to you too to make sure that you get your prize money. And then what I really like about doing it this way is I get to play this twice. Here comes the money. Here we go. Money talk. Here comes the money. Okay, so we are going to draw another Cash App winner. So here we go. This this is your last chance. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds to put hashtag quick client in the chat. We got 124 people on this stream right now and only 56 people in the actual drawing. So I'm going to give you a minute. Remember, hashtag quick client, all one word. While, you're, while you guys are doing that, then I'm going to draw for one more $25 cash app prize. But while you're putting in hashtag quick client, so you're eligible, I just want to say, uh, Paul, thank you for coming on. And oh, yeah, thanks for having me. Answer the questions, hanging out with us. It's awesome. Um, Maps quick client uh, formula. It's going to be closing down tomorrow at midnight Pacific Standard Time. So there will be a slight price increase tonight. So if you want to get it at the lowest price possible, just go to offlinecharts.com forward slash maps clients and, uh, and grab it today. Uh, you'll be able to get it tomorrow, but then tomorrow night at midnight, the price really goes up. Uh, we are going to have a training on Wednesday of next week, Wednesday of next week, I believe at 3 p.m. Eastern. I believe at 3 p.m. Eastern, Wednesday of next week. If you purchased maps quick client formula, you should already be registered and you don't have to do anything, but we will be sending out emails and reminders and links and all that stuff and posting the Facebook group. So just keep your eye out for that as well. Uh, we do try, as long as we don't have any technical issues, we should record it and have a replay that we can show you guys. But, you know, sometimes stuff happens. So always better to be there live so you can ask questions and, and get your, you know, your situation, the things you're doing for your clients might be specific to you. So you can ask those and we can answer them. I'll be there. Paul will be there. Um, I mean, it's going to be, it's going to be good. There's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of high value there, so you're not going to want to miss that. Yep. That's going to be Wednesday. Um, so again, everything closes Saturday night, Wednesday. So, uh, all right, let's do. I saw some people got in there, and let's draw again. So here we go. The winner of the second twenty-five dollar cash app prize is. Richard Bowen. Richard, Congrats. congratulations. That is awesome. So yeah. Richard, you can put your cash app tag in PayPal or somebody from the team will reach out. We'll get you taken care of there. So awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. Oh, uh, I did want to do one other thing uh, before. Oh, I don't know where. Hmm. Oh, hold on. I believe they are here. So I, I did want to do one more thing, and I, I should have done this earlier. I want to welcome new Agency Evolution member, Daryl Patterson. Daryl, we're excited to have you inside. Awesome to see you get started and uh, start this journey in Agency Evolution. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Maybe everybody can give uh, Daryl a shout out in the comments uh, or inside the Facebook group, welcoming him to the program. So welcome aboard, really, yeah, really excited to have him in there. And then uh, I also want to give a shout out to our agency evolution members that, so one of the big things with agency evolution for us is accountability, right? Helping each other stay accountable, get their things done. And so one of the things we wanted to do is uh, every week we have an accountability check-in. And I just want to give a shout out to those members that are taking action inside that program and holding them and others accountable. So uh, a big shout out to Robert, Bill, Sandy, uh, Faisa, Michael, Alan, and Devendra. Uh, all of them posted in their accountability check-ins with what they've got going, what they've got done, what they need help with. So awesome, awesome, uh, awesome stuff, everybody. Really, really appreciate that. So good things. Awesome. Uh, Paul, anything you want to say before uh, we wrap this up? 
I'm excited for everyone who's joined us inside and thanks everyone for um, you know being on the call today and having me. Thank you, Tom and Nick for having me as well. And um, yeah, I look forward to seeing everyone Wednesday too to do some, some more training with everyone. So it should be fun. Yeah, awesome. All right, well, hey, thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, we'll see you on the training Wednesday. We'll see you inside the Facebook group. If you have any questions, you can ask them there or you can reach out to offlinesharks.com forward slash support. Thanks for hanging out with us this Friday. We'll be here next Friday, same shark time, same shark channel. Uh, until then, stay safe. Practice Aloha, everybody. You've been watching the Aloha Marketing Jam Session. We've helped thousands just like you start and scale their businesses. If you'd like our help to grow your business, go to the link on your screen now and let us know how we can help you. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this stream. We'll be back here next Friday for another live show. Until then, aloha. Aloha.